Saturday, thank goodness, you are in the trumpet dungeon, my friends. Donald's Trumpets Vintage Horns, you are back, and I'm so glad to see you. A um, little bit, real quick, before we get into the horn of the day. Donald's Trumpets Vintage Horns, hmm, sounds a little bit suspect. But don't worry, it is not nefarious. What happened is, my dad, when he passed, Donald, by the way, he left me a lot of really cool vintage horns. So I'm very grateful for that. And then I decided to create a channel in his honor to catalog each one of these beasts before they're released back into the wild. So that's what we got. Um, I started playing trumpet last month or last year in about May. So we're going on about eight months here. Um, it's been an amazing journey. I've become a zealot for the instrument. I uh, always played guitar. Uh, but one thing I've learned about trumpet is uh, it's extremely... Um, it just, it really grounds you. I, I think there's, there really does have something to do with the, the, just the vibrations that come out of the horn and being able to connect yourself to the music. At least for me, I've connected a lot deeper to trumpet and any kind of brass instrument than I ever did with uh, guitar. And I think it is because of that. And you're using your life breath, right? I don't know if you've ever heard of singing bowls, but there's, you know, there's, there's definitely some tranquility that can be brought from sound. Nothing mystical about it. I think it's just kind of like a, a soothing brook, right? Or uh, ocean waves. It's just something that's nice. So you should get yourself a horn if you uh, don't have one already, and you should tell everybody else to do it. Let's bring it back because it is an amazing instrument. Um, but what we're looking at today is a Con 80A. This one's going up on the chopping block. And it's a great horn, um, really cool. This one, when I when I pulled it out of the stash, it had uh, this Bach um, valve protector on there, like a leather cover, which I don't like. I don't like any of those. But when I took it off, I could see why. Um, you can see here, and, and I don't have the camera facing me, so hopefully I'm getting this correct. But you can see here with the wear that's taking place right here, um, basically every contact spot, anywhere where your hands are underneath here, the silver's been worn away. So, which, you know, that's unfortunate for sure, but um, the, the engraving on it is still here. You can see there's a matte finish, kind of where the bell is, uh, tapered at the end. So, really cool. Um, as far as the mechanics of the horn, everything plays nice. Um, all the slides move. Uh, there's this little, oop, nice little pop. There's this uh, connected linkage between, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. I did it earlier, sorry. Yeah, there you go, just doing this one. There's a connected linkage and it moves both the third and the first slide. So that's kind of neat. It gives you a little bit more fine tuning and which most people are aware of with these Econ 80As, there's this opera glass tuning slide. So this is actually something that also gives you more ability to zone in on, on the, to being in tune. Um, as far as valves are considered, uh, these are in really good shape, um, I must admit. Uh, this, this horn is, what, 70 years old or so, and as you can see, um, well, as I cannot see, I'm hoping you can, uh, the, the valves are good. There's a little bit of wear here and there, um, that looks like dirt, uh, but overall, yeah, pretty good condition for the valves, especially for a horn of this age. Um, I did use a number three thicker valve oil on this one. Um, I just got it in this week, and I've, I've been using just Alcast on everything, but you can tell the difference on some of the valves on these older horns. Um, and I will tell you, it made a huge difference. I mean, it felt, it felt amazing after putting it in there. So, um, yeah, that's it, uh, pretty much on the horn. Um, my dad seemed to like ADAs, got a couple of them. I don't think I'm going to do a comparison of this one today. I'm, I'm not keeping it. Um, not, not because there's anything wrong with the horn. It's just that it's, it doesn't speak to my soul and I don't need another trumpet or cornet. Um, so let's jump in. Um, let's play Chet Baker. Uh, I fall in love too easily and uh, not, not that good at it yet, but we'll give that a shot and then I'll go back to Chris Bodie when I fall in love. I've been playing a lot of that too. So without further ado, let's see what we got. Oh, by the way, playing on a uh, somewhat beat up Vincent Bach, Mount Vernon 7C, uh, the rim too, a little bit beat up. Not, not terrible, but uh, yeah, just something that found in the pile. train wreck there um but yeah hitting the high notes i found it was really easy to do this let's try uh 
just C to high C. So it's getting easier too, by the way, to hit those upper register notes. I'm not passing out anymore. So yeah, I find it easy to hit the high notes on this. It's got a, it's fun to play. Um, I think you can slot easily in between notes. Um, it doesn't have the full sound of like a Bach or anything, but it's got a very jazz sound. Um, let's see. I like it. It's a good horn. Not gonna lie. Well, not at least not in this video. Uh, great playing horn. I have no issues navigating and I don't I haven't played this one. This is the first day I've used it So um, yeah, I give it my seal of approval whatever that's good for and uh, by the way If you made it this far you either love Jonathan. Thank you or you love trumpets and cornets And I'm gonna guess you you're here for the horns So click that subscribe button and uh, that way you don't miss the content. There's plenty to be released. So uh, I appreciate you making it this far Hopefully uh, you learned something and if you got something to teach me leave a comment below. Uh, by the way, I actually accidentally had a setting uh, incorrect on there, so I didn't know I had a bunch of comments. So I'll, I'll be trying to respond to those. But yeah, thanks again. Hope you have a great weekend and keep playing because it's an amazing thing. So see ya. Uh, now I don't have the stop button. So have you subscribed? I think I hear my son coming. Shh.